Abby, that's not the real me. I have no new recipes to enjoy for the weekend, so I guess I'm just going to enjoy it as normal. Hmm. Strawberry? Yes. All right, strawberry. It tastes as magical as you. It tastes as magical as you. All right, I'm back on my deficit. Before I head to George W. Disney Trail, I'm gonna be having this tortilla pizza. And I'm also gonna have this morning glory smoothie because I feel kind of icky right now, I feel kind of hot. So I think having a smoothie would be nice. <laughs> Abby getting Google Maps ready. I didn't think the trip to Dalton, Georgia would take this long. Here we are, George W. Disney Trail. Considered the most challenging short trail in the state? Really? I actually did not know that. You better keep your distance, Abby. No, no. That's not what I meant. Yeah, like people said, it's easy so far, but they said it's gonna get more difficult as we go further in. Oh, you know it's about to get real when the hill's going up like this. I think we're almost at the very top. 100%, no joke, not for beginners. Woo, check that view out. This is what I've been waiting for in all the other trails. I just came from there. What do you think of it, Abby? Nice. We live in one big balloon. There's a lot more to this trail than I thought. I thought it was just gonna stop right where those mountains were, but there's still another trail to it. There's some benches here, or is this the memorial thing that they were talking about on the website? Either way, this is a good place to tell Halloween stories. The ultimate Mountain View area. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh. Oh, there's a highway. I didn't come from there though, I came from the countryside. Like going through the highway isn't any shorter. You know, for a trail that's only two miles, there's a lot to explore around here. Just when I thought I reached the peak, there's another hill that goes on top. Okay, unfortunately there's no Mountain View here. Gonna... Alright, we'll take a photo before we head out. Overall, super cool place, wasn't it, Abby? Coming down hills like this, rocks are not your friend. Same with the hills. So you gotta find like a tree like this. Looking forward to Food City, only eight minutes away. I don't know. Getting back wasn't really as difficult as people say it was. Going up though, whoo, that is a different story. I was sweating so much. And if you're a beginner, you're gonna hate yourself. And we're back. All right, next up, Food City. All right, here we are. I like how all these cities have their own supermarkets. This place has Food City, Kennesaw has Whole Foods, Smyrna has Nam De Moon. This is new. Sacred Life, I've never heard about this one. Yeah, I'm taking that. Hot dogs and burgers in a can. No, thank you. Mm, I'll make the tasty Robin recipe with this. Found some instant fuzz that I want to try too. And I found the thing that my mom gave me. Oh my gosh, I found this stuff here. Don't buy this, that's nasty. No, I can't skip my sevia. 
here. I gotta get some water to stay hydrated. All right, so that place is basically if Ingalls and Kroger had a baby. What are you doing, Abby? Woo! All right, I'm back. I got sort of a headache after that whole ride from Dalton. And I was gonna have this for tonight, but then I realized by the nutritional facts that it has 24 grams of sugar. How does pho have that much sugar? I guess I'll just have this tomorrow. All right, so with my meal plan change, we're gonna be having this mini mountain of fried rice. Got some little smokies in there, which I used to eat a lot when I was obese. I'm tired. Miss. But I still need to get my 10K steps in because George W. Disney Trail was not enough. I have exactly an hour left to do this. They showed us how to stay alive when blackbirds fill the northern sky. Who can sucks, that's plain to see. This chicken sure gets to me. I think I hit it. Did I hit it? Yeah, I hit it. We're good. It's the next day. It's the next day, which is Wednesday. I have not recorded for Monday, and there's a good reason why now. So, this actually registered as two servings, when I meant for it to be one serving. So I ended up eating over 100 calories. So hopefully that does not affect the weigh-in for this week. So yeah, I typically eat only 1,200 calories, but it's 1,300, and that's because this was meant to be one serving, but it ended up being two, and it's 360 calories. I hate when it does that. That's why I register everything as one serving. Along with the pulled pork burrito, I'm gonna have this high sugar pho. Yep, that's what it looks like. How's this high sugar? Is it the freaking powder? I thought it was gonna be like a sauce pack. I'm being smart and bringing everything separately before I put in the hot water. Just need it to hold down. This could use some protein, but whatever. I already got my protein from the pulled pork. So I had a dream that I went disgusty shopping with my high school friend, and for some reason we were getting Diet Mountain Dew, so that made me get a Mountain Dew Zero. <laughs> Alright, batteries are gonna die, I forgot to charge last night. This is the most awkward stand, I have the camera on the DSLR, but uh, I think the best way to approach this whole over the calories on Monday is to have only 1100 calories. So I'm having the Chef Bombay. And it's the chicken tiki masala as always. I've had this in previous episodes. Still got the mandu. And for snack, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for snacks. I only have like less than 30 minutes. First expert song on Lefty. All right, Thursday brunch. So I have four little smokies, got two eggs, got a mix of many hikari and just normal basmati rice. And I also got another phenomenal. So this one is the chicken flavor. Beef flavor, I mean, it's pretty much the generic instant pho. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same thing. Yeah, it looks like the same thing. I mean, this stuff is good, but it's not something I drive all the way an hour to Food City for again. I almost forgot to record my next meal, but I'm having a tuna melt, and I already ate the other half because that's the part when I almost forgot. And I wanted a chicken sausage with those keto hot dog buns, but the sausage got moldy. <gasps> I don't know what else to have then. If I could use your kitchen to make some bacon double cheeseburgers for our group. It's gonna be exactly in my protein goal with this. Eh, looks better on the inside. Say we hit 149. What the heck? Are you serious? Man, I was so excited too. I thought I was gonna hit 149 today, but I guess that pulled pork burrito wasn't forgiving. Or maybe I didn't eat enough calories. Like the day that I played Guitar Hero, I only ate 900 calories. Man, I gotta remember to do that more often. Man, I'm so OCD about hitting 149. I'm like two months in now. It's like I know the number doesn't matter, but as I said, OCD. And now 
it is time for the White Day Survival Experiment. All right, I'm starting off this experiment by running at GE Trails. I don't feel hungry, so hopefully this builds up some appetite. All right, the sun's starting to go down. It's eight o'clock and these shoes are oddly okay to run with. These are my wedding shoes. I think the funny thing is about wearing this suit, if I ever do have to go to a wedding, I could just wear this. Someone has not been cutting the grass at these trails. Nice. You got that right, so Han. We made it back to the car. I am freaking famished, so I'm gonna get my groceries, head home, and then we'll eat. Welcome to the random things I say while driving. White day edition. Sweetie, come to Gramps. Chill, Grandpa. My granny has Instagram. <laughs> Something smells good. Chop, 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 chop. Off with your head. Who you love? I decisive. All right, I can't have energy drinks according to the diet. Ultra gold. I said I'd try it, so here we go. We have plenty of curries, but I'm going to take one. All right, I'll try these two. Yo, Kroger says Mountain Sevia now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get that. I'm not gonna drink it until next week though. I forgot to mention it's Memorial Day, so not a lot of people at the grocery store, let alone the trails. One more thing to say for the random things while I say while driving. Why'd you go do a juvenile thing like that, young Sohan? Ugh, I'm so tired of you. Even a white day survivor can't stay away from binge eating disorder forever. Since it's Memorial Day, I guess I might as well just enjoy myself. I was robbed of last week. How did I not hit 149? Alrighty, so yesterday was a fiasco. I was not expecting my parents to bring pho right after I got my groceries. Because I already got the groceries, I can't let it wait out for two weeks, so I'm still going to go through the experiment, despite that I know that I'm going to be gaining weight this episode. So, the pho has made me hungry because my insulin levels have spiked up due to the rice noodles, so hopefully we can have a real meal today. Because the only white day food, aside from the burgers and pizzas in one of the ghost stories, is curry, I'm going to be making a variety of different types of curries. So what I have here for brunch is going to be a Spam curry. So I got some light Spam here, got some gold potatoes, and I also got a block of curry mix. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work right now. Okay, the curry came out a little watery. But that doesn't mean it's gonna taste bad. I just need to remember to take out one cup of water because I put in a little too much, which I thought it was gonna happen anyway. So I'll do that for the next curry. Before I eat, I'm gonna try this ultra gold. This immediately slaps you with the pineapple flavor. Alright, before I work out, I'm going to be having this nitro cold brew coffee can. So I have no idea what this tastes is like, so this is going to be a new experience for me. Hopefully this tastes is good enough to where I can mix it with the soy milk. That's kind of the idea that I've been coming up with when I was getting these coffee cans. Is this supposed to make that sound? Maybe this will taste better if I just mix this in with the soy milk. All right, we'll see how that tastes. It looks like chocolate milk now. Doesn't taste like chocolate milk though. It's not too bad now. I added some stevia to it, so it gave it a little bit more sweetening. Cause I want to enjoy myself before I work out. All 
All right, post-workout meal, I decided to get creative here and make a spicy bacon cheeseburger curry and rice. So look how small this rice is. This is the Royal Basmati rice. I'm not using the Manini Kari and it just shrunk so much. Yeah, this is basically if a cheeseburger was a curry. Alright, making Spam Curry again. I wanted to be creative for brunch, but it's 2.06 and I gotta get out there at Coosa River Lock and Dam at 2.30 because they do close at 5. Drink selection for today... I guess a rain white gummy bear. I thought it was free parking, the heck? They wide. All right, got my parking pass, and I see a bridge right there, so I guess that's where the trail is. By the way, guess who we brought? Me! Sabrina's with us. She's bickering with Abby right now. Yep, these are the trails. The trails are pretty basic so far. Well, here's the river. So there's a path over here, but I think it leads all the way back. Yep, that leads all the way back to the parking lot. It's only like a 1.6 mile trail. Oh, here's a trait that we could do muscle ups on. I have not been practicing muscle ups, so I don't know if I could still do one. By the way, all these trails are labeled as colors, so I've already been to all of it. The only trail we have not been to, this one does not have a name, so I'm gonna call it Green Trail. Oh, I guess that's why. Not even like 10 steps in and we're already done with this. <laughs> eh, the trails are really underwhelming for $2. Good thing I didn't leave, there's more trails at the campsite. You know, this is a decent spot to fish at. I'm surprised people aren't fishing here. The area is called Gravel Pit, but there's like no gravel out here whatsoever. Ooh, now I like the look of this. This area is pretty dangerous. I would not run like I just did. Only six people could be on this thing. I'm gonna get off now because this place is flimsy. Nature preserve. Now it's starting to get real. I thought those red and blue trolls was all they have. Uh, this is what they mean by nature preserve. It's just complete wildlife. Nothing else. There's like barely any trails. Very beauty area. Looks like a place where bears would live at, but fortunately bears don't live near us. Only thing you need to watch out for is snakes. You can just go into the backpack, Sabrina. Bamboo forest! Wow, there's a lot of bamboo forests than I thought in Georgia. Little swampy area out here. Y'all girls stay behind me because this place is getting pretty grassy. I don't think I'm allowed to go here. Yeah, we're going back. This place is pretty dangerous in comparison to normal trails. If you come out here, you gotta be completely ready for all the snakes that might come out. Other things to watch out out here, the mosquitoes and the horse flies. Ooh, I said come here. Ooh, we're back. So it is not 1.6 miles. Look at that. People are lying on the website. I guess we'll go back home and have our next meal. Oh yeah, the website also says it closes at five, but there's still a lot of people out here and people can still fish until 10 p.m. They lied so hard on Google. We are home. <laughs> I'm always going to put potatoes into these curries, but I did put in some chicken breasts, turkey pepperonis, crushed red bell peppers, and I'm also putting in some reduced fat mozzarella cheese. And that's going to help thicken it up just a little bit. Don't want it to stick into the bottom, so I'm not putting all of it in until the very end. Trying out another coffee here. So this one has no sugar in it. Uh, it has guarana, B vitamins, ginseng. I'm not looking forward to ginseng. Ginseng does not taste very good, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. Okay, it didn't make that weird sound this time. It's not as bad as the last one, 
but it still tastes weird. Maybe it's just I'm not used to coffee. Here's what it looks like. Mmm, soggy pepperoni is my favorite. I cannot believe I'm eating rice with pepperoni. That is so unorthodox. I do not taste the pepperonis at all. All I can taste is the reduced fat mozzarella cheese and the majority of the curry. So it basically just tastes like a cheesy chicken curry. Alright, so the experiment is a complete failure because tomorrow is that day where my brother wants to hang out and eat. There's a sign somewhere somewhere I need it. So we'll try this again another time. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a weigh-in before we hang out. 155.4. We tired. Miss. The weight is not looking pretty on a Thursday, but I am prioritizing on family over weight loss. So that's what's gonna be like in this episode. We're gonna be going to the Zen place. Robin and sushi burrito. All right, here it is. All right, now we're at the place that he's gonna be moving out of. This area. Gonna do just one. It's too heavy for me. So this is the whey protein that he's talking about from my protein. It's really big. Also got several bags of red rice too from Dragonfly. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here, Abby. Nice. All right, since the white day experiment didn't really go as planned, I guess we're gonna leave it off in a part two, which is exciting because that means I'm gonna stream white day again in the future, but it's gonna be the original. It's not gonna be the remake again. Thank you. Ah! Next episode is going to be a little awkward because it is going to rain all week next week, so I'm not really sure if I can go to the bamboo forest. But I can say that I'm going to be on my deload, which means that I'm going to have a break in my diet throughout next week. And also, I'm just going to break for like the rest of this week too because, you know, the whole fiasco of a white day. Also, that ramen shop was just okay. I felt like the sushi burrito was a little overpriced for how small it was. It's like $11 for this big. Same thing with the ramen too. And uh, overall, me and my brother were just talking about life and how I'm going to deal with paying taxes and bills and all that. I'm an absolute noob at doing stuff like that.